In this video, we will be showing you how to set up a basic website using Web Manager. The very top section of the website is called the header. Here, by default, we display your dealership's address and phone number. You can also display links to various social media sites, such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Yelp, and so on if you've set those up for your dealership. We'll get into how to do that later on in this video. Below that is the menu bar. You'll see the home button, but you can also upload your company logo here as well. On the right, you'll see all of the menus for your site, which is where your customers will navigate to see various pages in your site, such as inventory, parts and service, financing options, and so on. Under that, you'll see the basic slideshow with stock photos that we've handpicked. You have the option to go back into Web Manager and swap out these photos for other ones that are in our gallery or your own. Below that is the inventory search bar, which is where customers can search for different vehicles in your inventory based on words that they enter. Let's do a search for BMW. The result will show all the BMWs that you currently have available in your inventory. If we return to the home page, we can see the next item after the search bar is the quick link buttons. These buttons are designed to draw attention to the most important pages on your website. You can see the sleek graphics and animations grab users' attention in order to make them click on important pages such as your credit app or inventory. Scroll down below the quick link buttons. We can see a default text box which says welcome to our dealership. We call it default text because it is the basic welcome message we put on dealers pages. We highly recommend you going into Web Manager and customizing it to your specific dealership. To the right of that is the schedule your test drive button for lead generation. It links to the Schedule a Test Drive form. Next is the Browse Inventory by Body Style filter. So if you select Coupe, for example, the result will only show vehicles on your lot that match the Coupe body style. Below that, is the inventory slider, which rotates inventory on your lot. You can set it to show all of your inventory or just featured vehicles in your inventory. Finally, we have the website footer, which is the bottom section of every one of the pages on your website. On the left side, we have a quick contact form, which gathers the user's basic information for lead generation. To the right, we have dealership info, which can display things such as your phone number, business hours, address, and so on. All of our websites come completely mobile and tablet friendly right out of the box. If you scale down your website, you can see everything fits inside of the smaller window, which will allow your clients to easily navigate your site on mobile phones or tablets. Now let's get back into Web Manager and show you how to edit the basics of your website. If you hover over Settings in the menu, Website, and then click on Theme. In the Theme tab, you can edit the website's theme, which is the basic layout of how your site will look. You can also select the color scheme, which dictates the primary colors displayed on your website. Right now, our website is using the luxury theme with a blue and white color scheme. You can edit the color scheme by clicking this drop-down menu and selecting the desired color. Hit black and gray for instance. If we save changes and take a look at our website, you can see all the colors have completely changed. Now let's click on the menu tab, which controls the logo and navigations in the menu bar. 
Here, you can upload your company's logo by clicking Choose File, finding a file on your computer, pressing Upload, and then saving the changes. Once you've done this, you can click on My Website or simply refresh your site to see what your company's logo will look like on your menu bar. If we return to Web Manager and go below the menu image, we can see the various menu sections and their titles. Here you can customize the menu label by changing the name to whatever you want and adding a different link. You can also add and remove menu items and change the order. If a menu item is checked, that means it is displaying on your website. If it's unchecked, that means it's hidden. Once you've saved the changes, everything that you've done inside of this page will publish on your site. Next is the Pages tab. This is where you customize, enable, and disable all of the interior pages on your website. For now, let's just do the home page by scrolling down to home and clicking design page. As you can see here, all of the elements like slideshow and inventory search are represented in Web Manager as they are on the website. So let's switch back to the website so you'll see these elements in the same order. We have our slideshow, inventory search, quick link buttons, custom HTML, and library image. If we return to Web Manager, we can see that each block represents an element. So slideshow, inventory search, quick link buttons, custom HTML, and library image, just as we saw on the website. On the right, you'll see the elements toolbox. You can drag and drop any of these elements to customize the page's layout. If we press the Save and Exit button, we'll return to the Pages tab. The next tab over is Footer. The footer is the lower section of the website that stays on every page as users navigate through your site. We currently have a custom footer enabled which works the same way a page design works. If we click on the Design Custom Footer link, we can see the layout. This is a preset layout that we've selected for you. It uses elements like Quick Contact and Dealership Info. If we look at our website and scroll down to the footer, you can see these elements sitting side by side just the way they do in Web Manager. If we navigate back to the footer tab, disable the custom footer, save the changes, then we can begin modifying settings for the other elements inside of the footer. The first one is the disclaimer. If we click the edit disclaimer text link, it takes us to a text box where we can put in our own disclaimer. A disclaimer is a statement that legally protects your dealership. I'm going to go ahead and paste one in here. Save and exit. And then enable the disclaimer. You can also enable sitemap links, which provide links to every one of your website's pages at the bottom of each page. You can enable social media links to any social media sites that you've set up for your dealership. For instance, if you have a Facebook or Twitter page that you've set up, you can enter the URLs and enable the links. You can also set up a share button, which allows users to share your website or any page on your website via email or social media. If we save these changes, and refresh our website. 
we can see all the settings we've entered in the web manager show up here. Our disclaimer, our social media links, the share button, and the sitemap links. If you return to web manager and click on the tab next to footer labeled social media, you can see where we give you the ability to enable links to any social media sites that you've set up for your dealership. To set up the link, simply add the remainder of the URL for any one of your social media sites. For instance, our Facebook URL is facebook.com slash automanager. So we're going to enter automanager into this box. And you can test it by simply hitting go. You can add the remainder of the links and save the changes to publish them to your website. We can see the changes we've made by pressing the My Website button and looking at the social media links right up here in the top. And there you have it, a clean, professional website catered to your dealership in just a few clicks. If you have any trouble setting up your website or social media sites, we have website design and SEO services available. You can call us at AutoManager for a free quote or technical assistance at 800-300-2808.